is up everybody, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. In today's episode, we're going to... Did, did y'all notice that? Oh, uh, anyway. Today we're going to be talking about some of the latest news coming to Pokemon Go. Meaning, we're... Oh, hello? Did, did y'all see that? Anyway, we were talking about... Gear... Hello? Giratina. Yeah, Giratina's... Oh, the Distortion World, that's what that was. Anyway, if you don't know about the Distortion World, this is from basically the handheld games uh, where Giratina, the Pokemon game franchise, comes from. Uh, in that in that way, you, there was this like extra content where you could go into the Distortion World, etc., etc., and like find out more about Giratina, its backstory. And Giratina has its origin form and its altered form. So, the altered form uh, will be returning. That's the one with like legs, and the origin form, the distortion world form, is going to be coming in just a couple weeks. So next week, Thursday, March 28th, we're going to be getting the return of the origin altered altered form uh, is going to be coming back. Very cool. It's been honestly, if you play PvP in the Ultra League and even the Master League, apparently Giratina is basically all over the place. So it's good to see something a little relevant to the game, especially for PvP, outside of just Great League, so very cool. I got a couple when it came out around Halloween, and I'm not mad, I got a couple good ones, but I wouldn't mind getting a few more, they're a very cool looking Pokemon, and Origin Form will be coming the week after that, starting April 2nd, and we'll be seeing the Altered and Origin Forms, both in Pokemon Go. And uh, let's actually take a look at Giratina real quick. As we look here, and there's Draffer again with them. But yeah, I got a couple pretty uh, pretty good ones. Dragon Sight, Ghost Set, uh, 96 with Shadow Claw, Ancient Power. So you can see like it gets Shadow Claw, it gets Dragon Breath, two of the best moves for PvP. It gets a lot of like very quick charge moves, Dragon Claw, um, Ancient Power, which of course has the uh, buff added to it, and it also gets Shadow Sneak, which is another you know pretty quick one. Not you know the best, but it's pretty quick. So a lot of good coverage, especially for PvP purposes. Um, and then with the attack form, or the origin form coming, this is actually going to be the one that we can use in raids. So if you didn't know, Giratina and its other form of Giratina have basically the same stats, except Giratina, this one that we have currently, the uh, altered form, is a defensive-based Pokemon. The altered form, which we'll be getting very soon, and looks... Hi. Where'd you go? We'd be looking like this. So if we look here, it's more like worm-like, more uh, more like a snake, kind of a dragon-looking dude, uh, more like a Chinese dragon as opposed to like how it is now with like actual legs, looking like uh, more like a wyvern kind of a dragon. So we're gonna be looking at this new altered form, and this is the one that we can use in raids as a dragon type, as a ghost type, because it's going to have a pretty darn good attack stat for Pokemon Go, and will be very useful in the meta as both a dragon and as a ghost type Pokemon. But the news that I was getting to before Giratina disrupted the place with its distortion effect is actually going to be the new research day, which is going to be coming to Pokemon Go, centered around weather. That's right, weather. So it's interesting that they're giving us a theme this time around. Uh, so the first time was this Feebas, which is kind of cool. It, you know, it was hard to get. People weren't very happy with it. Then we had last week, or last month, we had um, Clampro, which is very cool. Unexpected, shiny release, very, very cool. This time we're getting weather research, and there's a few things that are Totally different, totally different with this. We're getting two shinies, guys. Two shinies, Lotad's family and cast form. Now, I actually did some research into the cast form line, and the rest of the cast form forms don't apparently have shiny forms. Um, yeah, only normal cast form gets an actual like shiny variant in game. So, shiny cast form is a. It looks like this. It's a pink shiny, which is yeah, it's cute. Um, and, but the really cool one is we're getting Lotad. Lotad's whole shiny family is actually really cool looking. Um, so very excited about this. Lotad is an interesting choice. Uh, of course, it is weather based. So a lot of people have been like, oh, we're just going to get whatever the current weather is. And then that will be boosted. So 
I think we're actually going to just be getting weather boosted Pokemon in general. So the Pokemon that come out during certain times of weather. So we're looking at Cacnea, we're looking at Lotad, uh, we're looking basically at those Pokemon. The Pokemon that uh, basically got released with certain weather situations. So we're going to be looking at lots of um, cast form. So cast form will be coming out in the wild more than likely and then we get Lotad based research which is very cool. Boosted shiny Lotad from the research as well as probably getting a boost in spawns because of weather because it is a weather related Pokemon, meaning that it only comes out during rainy weather, uh, or rather it's extremely boosted during weather, rainy weather, just like Cacnea is extremely boosted during sunny weather. So that's going to be very cool. I expect lots of Cacnea, lots of Rotad, and a ton of cast form. Uh, so that's the Pokemon that appeared during the weather. Uh, limited research, going to be uh, mainly, I'm thinking, Lotad. Uh, complete, yeah, completely limited for uh, research. You'll encounter Lotad. If you're lucky, you can get both Shiny Lotad and Shiny Cast Form. Already touched on that. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And we also be seeing Cast Form's signature move, Weather Ball, added to the game. It's been in the code for a while. We finally do get it in game. It might make uh, Cast Form a little more interesting for PvP. Personally, I actually love my uh, little dudes for uh, PvP. So I actually have quite a few, if we uh, go ahead and put this into combat power, I've actually high key maxed out a couple, or gotten some to very close to maxing out, a couple power ups away for a couple of these guys, but I love these guys for um, PvP. You don't see them very often, they max out, they get up to like high levels, like 38, 39, 40, um, right below Great League, uh, right at that Great League level, so I get Quite a few, I love them uh, personally. I will be definitely changing this guy over to cast form with um, Weather Ball and Tackle more than likely. Uh, so very cool, very excited for Weather Ball for the purpose of PvP. Uh, I think it will be a little more interesting to see uh, some more cast form in there. And of course, shiny cast form and the rest will be absolutely amazing to see in game. And if we actually go over to Go Hub again, I'm kind of swoop swapping back and forth here. Uh, we do see a better look at some of these shinies again. Shiny Lotad and Shiny Cast Form look like that. For Lotad from the research, you'll be looking for a range of 230 to 256. Uh, 256 will be perfect. 230 is going to be the low low. And uh, here are the shiny forms again. Very, very, very cool shiny family. Um, personally, I love. Honestly, all three of them are very cool because you get such very different uh, shinies from each one of them. So yeah. Very, very excited for this coming to Pokemon Go. And uh, hopefully Giratina will stop with this distortion stuff. I'm sick of it. Anyway, that's going to be the end of today's episode. If you did like it, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. If you enjoyed the series, please subscribe. And as always, God bless and see you for another episode of Pokemon Go.